I'm at Zondervater near Cullinan, which is the site of the old World War II Italian prisoner of war camp, where over a hundred thousand prisoners of war uh, spent years during the war. And many of them stayed there because they passed away and they are buried in the Italian cemetery, which is close by. Unfortunately, this is as close as I can get. They are busy making sure that the place is absolutely spick and span for their commemoration day. And they've asked me not to film the cemetery or any closer. So this is as close as I'm going to get. But our story is not really about a cemetery. It is in fact about a nursery school. This is Summerfield Nursery School, where children learn and play, and it's as different from a war memorial as it's possible to imagine. And yet, in the playground is a windmill built around 1943 by Italian prisoners of war. The owner of the land was Dutch, and he enlisted POWs from the very same Zondervate camp and got them to build this perfect working Dutch-style windmill on what was then his farm. The only blueprint they had was a single picture from a magazine, and this is what they created. Despite being declared a national monument in 1989, over the decades the windmill gradually fell into disrepair. It's been a passion project of the owner of Summerfield Nursery School, Kate van Gool, and her father Tom to restore this windmill to its former glory. Kate, thanks for having us here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Tell us, what made you want to actually restore this old windmill? I thought it looked fantastic. It was something unique. No one's got it in the entire of South Africa and I just like the shape and just to see it in its full glory, yeah, as you say. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful and you guys have done fantastic work. Tell me, the original builders, did they leave any traces of their identity? Do we have any clues as to who they were? Yes, we do. We have got a plaque that's put up by the National Heritage Council and we've also got a different um, brick that is unique to the windmill and that is what they've left behind as well as a plaque and on the plaque it says death by boredom in Italian. Okay, so they would rather have worked than just been bored as prisoners yes. of war. Thank you so much, it's really fantastic and thanks again for allowing us to shoot here and for allowing us to come and visit Summerfield Nursery School. It's a pleasure. I'm glad to have you here. When I look at this windmill, a number of things strike me. Hopefully not one of these blades. The Italians were prisoners, and so to stop themselves from giving in to depression and, and just going crazy, they built things. This mill provided irrigation for peach trees, and for chickens. But the name of their camp was Zondervata, which means without water. These prisoners quenched their own thirst to create by providing water for others. Kids in nursery school listen to tales of magic and giants. I remember a similar one. I mean, I can't even look at a windmill without thinking of Don Quixote, the famous novel because there's the scene where Don Quixote rides out on his horse to battle a windmill because he thinks it's a fierce, magical giant. And that's where we get the expression tilting at windmills. It means to attack an imaginary enemy. It's kind of like that tendency that some people have when they drink rum, you know, to pick a fight with a mirror. And Cervantes, the writer of Don Quixote, he'd also been a soldier and a prisoner of war. He knew what it was like to suffer and to feel the need to create or go crazy. But what really gets me is that I've probably passed this windmill thousands of times without even seeing it. It's in a busy suburb. It's close to a hospital, a shopping mall, restaurants. It's just tucked around a corner in a side road. And I drive with such tunnel vision like a rat in a maze without a ways that I was oblivious until a friend told me about it last week. 
So thanks to Lloyd Teasdale for the literal heads up. So next time you pass the memorial at Zondervater, please remember those Italian POWs. And if you ever pass this window, spare them a thought too. I think the laughter of children is a fitting memorial also. Just off the highway is a personal journey. My only support is you. I'd really appreciate if you'd let me know how I'm doing or give me some kind of encouragement by subscribing. And if you're really enjoying it, every like and share is a huge boost. Till next time.